Hey guys, and thanks for coming back to another episode of Danny TV. If you support the channel and enjoy these DIY videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more builds. I brought in a few shop repairs, and this first one this is our 1979 Lipton microwave. And if you're wondering on why the customer has some sentimental value to this, and uh, I think this was his wedding gift, so we will be looking at it and trying to figure out what's going on with it to get this thing going. This thing is old. So to, to begin the repair, we're going to remove these uh, quarter inch screws around the housing so that we can get inside and do some testing. So I've actually never worked on one this old before and this this button here just that's pops in. So with them saying that he's got to slam the door really hard, uh, we are going to check continuity on the door switches. So I don't know if I could show you here. This is all mechanical timers. Which they don't do that anymore to the problem was this door switch this lower one and as you could see so most of the time it actually even shows you a good sign so with that being black like that you could tell there's an internal break in it somewhere and it doesn't check good for continuity on either one of these terminals this is the common this one's normally open the newer ones they're not actually riveted on like that they just got plastic clips but this one being so old we know that it's discontinued or it is di everything's discontinued on it so we'll be drilling we'll be drilling it out and in and installing a new one here Okay, so I went ahead and took this latch loose so that I could raise it up and check continuity on this top switch and it checked fine. So we'll go ahead and reinstall that. Just like that because it is kind of hard to get to but I didn't want to remove this whole timer. So uh, instead I just raised the latch because as you can see the middle door switch and this lower one it's pretty simple to get to but anytime you're taking any harnesses off you do want to take a picture so that you don't mistake any of the wires if you're not familiar with how to read the diagram. Guys if you're ever needing to start a bolt and you can't fit your two fingers in there and you need it to stay use a little bit of grease and it would help you know position it in place and then hopefully you could turn it that 
holds pretty good. We got the microwave back together and I want to show you guys how this works. We've got our temperature set at 140. It's hot.